are these? Surely not. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, we're Brad and Jazz, and we make a living selling items on eBay that we find at thrift stores, auctions, garage sales, and everything in between. This week we went sourcing at Savers twice, once on our regular Friday trip, and again today on Tuesday for half off clothing. We're at Savers today. We're gonna to take you inside, show you what we're picking up and what we're leaving as we try to find some things to sell on eBay. I might have to look it up there, I'm not sure on the style. You can go to Seoul. Love seeing these. I usually do quite well. Check them over. Check the soles. They're not too bad. I'll tell you one. Hey, boy, Look at that. I've learned how to recognize rock climbing shoes. We'll just look those up and see what they're worth. But we saw those other five tens for some pretty good money. So yeah. Worth it. Some Nike LeBrons here. Pretty good condition. How much are they? Twenty one. Twenty nine. I think I might grab those. So, let's get on the bottom. Yeah. Mm. You've been here five seconds and you're paying for things. Where's your fine? What do we think on Australia Rio jacket? Cool. <laughs> I like nice. it. I just found this. Oh, so much sport. My bail was shit. My savings was shit. <laughs> next one, next one. <laughs> Save number two. Seventeen doll pairs. Sorel. Price. Twenty dollars ninety nine. What are these? Surely not. We've just found these sold on Poshmark for eight in the US. That's probably what 115 Australian. And I think they're only like 25 bucks. Yeah, 25 bucks. Wow. These are good. Wow. I've sold those exact ones before. No. I've checked with Thrifty Pixie and she's confirmed. My first Carla Zampati. 13. You did pretty well in there. <laughs> I think my favorite is this vintage Reebok. Jacket that cost us twelve forty nine. All the coach boots. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. All my Carla Zampati. Good morning. It is Tuesday, and we are rushing out the door because Savers have fifty percent off all their clothing today, and we've definitely left some stuff behind recently, so it's too expensive for our purpose. So we're going to nip in and see what's there. Not bad. One hundred and eleven dollars for thirteen pairs. One successful savers, on to the next. We've got these at the counter, these were 45. Full of shark. Some Nordica new tags. They are like that. Nice pair of corduroy rotten guns for $9. Nike TMs. I think it's still worth it at 40 it's Depop is sold for like 120 pounds, so I'm grabbing the same up. Okay, two savers trips this week. So we did go for our usual Friday thrift and we also came back again this morning for the 50% off clothing sale. Here's a couple of our favorite finds today. Brad got this pair of RM Williams boots and they're vintage. So even though they have a bit of scuffing on the toe there, and the elastic is a little bit wide at the top. The sole is absolutely beautiful and he paid $46. We can probably sell them for about 130 bucks. My personal favorite find was from Friday. My very first Carla Zampati little wrap jacket. This is a size 16 and there is a sold comp on eBay. 
different color, but sold for $140. If I can get $100 out of a top that I paid $13.50 for, I'm gonna be very, very happy. And we've already sold a couple of items that we picked up on Friday. One of them was the really cool Australia uh, 2016 Rio jacket that I found. The Olympics is hot right now. Picked it up for $16 and it sold for $79.95 plus International Post. It's off to America. It sold almost instantly, same day. So really, really, really quick sale there. And we also sold the really cool purple and orange Reebok jacket. We love this vintage style, the bright colors, and we sold that on Instagram. So thank you very much. You know who you are. And if you do see things that you like, make sure that you just flick us a message. And I found some absolute ripping shoes Friday and today as well. So let's get into those. Uh, the big winner will stick to the end because uh, we'll let that one drag out a bit. But I found this really nice pair of Air Force Ones. They do need a nice cleanup because they are pretty dirty. Uh, but these were only like $20, I think. Uh, so I should be able to get sort of 100, 120 out of those once we clean those up, which I'm very happy with. Very rarely see Air Force Ones around, so stoked with that. The other thing I never see around is Nike TNs. Now these are a very popular style of shoe. If you see Nike TNs, make sure they're legit, but they can go for some serious money. So a pair pre-owned over in the States sold for like $300, I think. So that did have a box. I'm not really sure why they were pre-owned, but I'm assuming I should be able to get at least 150 bucks on these. And I bought these for 40 bucks, so I did pay up, but Nike TN are that good a brand that I thought would give them a good crack, give them a nice little clean up, and they should come up really good and sell pretty quickly. But the big, big win of the whole week was these Coach gum boots. Um, so they're like a rubber bottom and then a bit of a tartan top, so very cool. Obviously Coach does get faked a lot, but we did some research on these and I actually found a pair of these that had sold in the UK on Depop, I think it was, for about 80 pounds, which is about $160, I think. So I grabbed these ones and I've put these up at about $179.95. Get anywhere over sort of $150, I'm probably gonna take it. Never found Coach before. Absolutely stoked to find that in the thrift store and I was very surprised when they were sitting there on the rack. So keep your eye out. That's probably the coolest stuff we found. We did get a whole bunch of bread and butter items, a whole bunch of jeans. There was some diesel, uh, some Levi's in there, a pair of RMs as well, a couple shirts and a couple long sleeve shirts as well. But this is definitely the highlights of today. So thanks for coming along. Let us know what your best find of the week has been and we'll see you next time on Toysie Thrifters. Bye for now. Same as number two. <laughs> Goodbye, it's Nike Romeo S3's running shoes. Good condition. Of course, look okay on these. I might get these cracked for 